According to Hillary Clinton, as Secretary of State in America, Africa must beware of new colonialism as China expands ties to Africa. It should be about the good of all rather than the need to undermine good governance. Chinese recolonizing Nigeria. It seems the fear expressed by Hillary Clinton is gradually, is already here with us, as shown recently when the House of Representatives Committee on Local Content invited the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and some contractors for a discussion pending investigation into an alleged breach of local content laws in Nigeria. In the execution of the $2.6 billion AKK 40 times um, 318 kilometer Kano Kaduna section of segment two of the gas pipeline project embanked upon by the current administration. Revelation made at the sitting showed that a Nigerian company, Bretes, in collaboration with a Chinese company, CPP, used the local content capacity of another Nigerian company, Bablink, an indigenous engineering company with huge capacity in engineering and gas pipeline project to bid and procure the above job in NMPC in compliance with our local content law. Only for Bretes, citing a non-existent Chinese content to surrender the entire engineering part of the project, statutory reserved for Nigerian company, for which Bablink, the local engineering company, have been pre-qualified by NMPC and rectified by BPP to another Chinese company named Wiz China. This is in clear violation of Section 28.1 and Section 33 of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act, also known as Local Content Act. The Nigerian Immigration Act, the Nigerian Import Promotion Council Act, loss of the Federation 1990. This day happened for Nigeria. The project was originally to be financed by CPP, the Chinese company, but upon award, the Chinese company reneged on its promise to finance, forcing the federal government to seek loan from the Chinese government secured with the Nigerian sovereign guarantee, i.e., if you don't pay, they take over the project despite your sovereignty. Despite Dangote fabricating pipeline in Nigeria to execute job in Cameroon and other West African countries, the Nigerian government went ahead to award a $400 million contract to, a Chinese, to the Chinese company for importation of pipelines. You borrow money from China and give it back to China for jobs you can locally fabricate. Yet you will pay back the loan with interest. Someone said, you get with the African leaders see for China where they never tell us. By virtue of the law cited above, most of these jobs, also known as in-country services, are supposed to be exclusively preserved for our local contractors since their profit is domiciled in Nigeria, which in turn will stimulate economic growth and create employment for our jobless graduate and youth. They are in these cases being taken over by Chinese company, all in the name of Chinese loan and non-existent Chinese content. If you take your money to China for production, you can never bring it back to Nigeria. All you get is goods. So why is our own relationship with them different? You can call it Chinese using Nigerians to defraud Nigeria and Nigerians. They are definitely spot on. The immediate and long-term implication of all of these to the Nigerian economy are very grave, and they include, but not limited to the following. Diminished job creation capacity at all time when the country is expected to reap the benefit of local content growth. Capital flight as an encroachment of in-country services area and repatriation of borrowed Chinese loan secured by a sovereign guarantee, including profit back to, to China. This will reduce local capital available for development, hence we'll keep going back to China to borrow. Gradual phasing out of the local service industry in the oil and gas and fabrication sector. Erosion of in-country service market. Lack of technology transfer and development as the job that ought to have been reserved for locals are completely taken over by foreigners, which eventually lead to great loss of revenue to both the local companies and the government. Lack of opportunities for growth of our local industries and companies, technically not to talk of competing globally. Massive retrenchment of workers by local service contractors, thereby fueling the already existing insecurity situation. I will therefore advocate, as posited, by the spokesperson of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Kalu. Any law made by the parliament for the benefit of the country 
It should be the interest of every person, including government and its ministries, parasitas and agencies, to see that such laws are observed to the latter for the benefit of all Nigerians. NMPC being a, a government agency created by an act of parliament should be interested in how our local content laws are applied, especially in the feed it's dominate. And I'm happy to say that the NMPC acting GMD is already trying to find solution to this. After all, if you allow China to repatriate 100% of the loan they are providing through payment of contract to their own local companies, same jobs your local companies can ordinarily do, don't cry when your people go sorrowing and take up arms against the state for lack of jobs and funds, as Boko Haram and bandits are already saying. And like Ikene would ask, this is our love for Chinese, even when we can't claim Chinese relatives as any reason for the favoritism, who they benefit? We all know the answer, but fear no let me talk am. You feel talk am sha. Until we collectively avert this practice and ugly trend, soon our children will not only be recolonized by Chinese in their own country, they will have to beg the Chinese for food, jobs, shelter, and clothes, clothing. And here you say, God forbid. God would forbid until we and our government resist this by insisting on protecting our own laws against Chinese invasion. Hin Chuan Hun Wan Han Chuan, a word said in half, goes into the wise and becomes a whole. Indeed. <laughs> I, 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 I feel we should go to court on this matter. As public interest litigators, we must file an action right now because local content, the essence of it in our laws is to improve our own economy and better the life of our citizens. But right now, even our local companies are undercutting the process, are conniving with foreign companies to get the contract and then you know, it, it turn it back to the Chinese and then we get loan from the Chinese. It, it, it just it's means that, yeah, this, this whole analysis, this whole analysis is one, it has opened a new vista for public interest litigators. I'm calling on lawyers who are public interest litigators to look at this matter, this matter critically and let's file an action uh, against the local companies, against the Chinese, and then ask the court to interpret our laws, the Mining Act, the Petroleum Act, the Local Contact Act, Act and, right. and the rest of it. And let's have a judgment against this process. And let all Nigerians come out and resist this, this uh, uh, unreasonable, unnecessary uh, uh, recolonization that we are signing in for. Uh, to 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 okay. forestall. Uh, well, the, the, are, are we even through with the first colonization? I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, I, I think we're still they're still here as 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 much as we would have loved them to 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 have left us alone. You see the way these things work. I, I once had a, a meeting with the Department of Trade, the country manager for the Department of Trade of one of the Western countries when telecoms cables first came to Nigeria, the, the landed intercontinental cables. They were going to give us some, some money. When you see the conditions attached to this money, eh, all the consultants were going to be pre-qualified by that right. country, and they were from that country. Then the primary contractors were also going to be qualified by these same people. The only thing they were leaving for Nigerians, you know it, the digging of ground and, 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 and whatever. Essentially, 80, 90 percent of that money will have gone go back, back to, that to that country. So that is the way they approach this matter. It is Nigerians that will stamp our feet and say, "This is how it must be." So, 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 so what is the, what is the Bureau of Public Procurement doing? What is what is no, the... like, like I said, you find out that Bureau of Public what they do. I have seen situations where because I've been on this advocacy for local content for close to ten years now, even in telecoms um, telecom sector where the same Chinese people would come as portfolio investors, bring nothing, and take away so much. And you find that Nigerians will collaborate with them. A, a Chinese man will register a company. His driver will be a shareholder holding 51%, because that's the position of the law. Yeah. He will hold 51%. The driver does not know anything, anything. about the company. And then he tells you it's a Nigerian-owned company. company. And then he's using it to siphon money. And so what did, once you're able to settle, our regulatory agencies look the other way. But NMPC and um, BPE are strict. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, when you bring this thing to their attention, they address immediately.
That's the reason we well, should go me, to For me, I think we have a squandered economy and an economy that is perpetually being squandered. Yes, if, um, if you get one. It, it, I don't know how we're going to get out of this, but you know this present crop of leaders are... They Just use Yoruba word. You, you have your I like hand. it when you use Yoruba to... Use Yoruba to say, Kumu Rupa no Swaya. <laughs> it's as if this country is sold. You should yeah. just give yes, us change. My That's why Bolaho said we question. sold to the British, we are selling to the Chinese. The Chinese. Who bewitched Nigeria? Nobody that, bewitched Nigeria. Question. That question will Nigerians be are not bewitched, it's our leaders. That question will be answered by Jumoke after this break, as she's asking who the Nigerian Senate is representing.